Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel for an all new pack opening. And today we've got ourselves two of the retail exclusive blasters for the all new WWE Panini Prism. Uh, these things are pretty dang hot right now. Obviously, the hobby boxes were exploding, and at one point they got up to like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars a box for the hobby stuff, which was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the blasters are a much uh, better. Uh, price point uh, you can get them at the store like a Target or Walmart I think Target's average about 30 Walmart's average about 35 on the blasters which I think is kind of ridiculous that Walmart kind of price jacks it a little bit there's also uh, hanger packs that are available as well little cello packs but I didn't find any of those uh, but we did manage to get ourselves uh, two boxes of these. They actually had quite a few when I got there. Um, had about a dozen. Took my two, left the rest for somebody else. Because, uh, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people going in. They'll snag every single one on the shelf, all 10, 12, 14, however many is there. And just leave nothing for somebody else. So I I thought I'd at least, you know, try to pass it on and help somebody else get some. So grab these two. Hopefully we'll have some luck and get some good pulls out of it. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is the debut edition for this product. Benin's going to have it, I believe, for three years, and then it'll be going back to top since um, they worked, uh, WWE worked out a new deal with Fanatics. But let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and uh, get to ripping. Uh, the Blasters have do have exclusive green Pulsar prisms. And of course, regular silver prisms are available. And then you also have a chance at retail exclusive autograph parallels. So uh, you do have an option, or rather, um, the chance of getting an auto in these. So it's not like... Um, you know, other products where you pretty much just need the base stuff and that's it. There's at least a small chance. It's not a great one. I haven't seen a lot of people get um, autos out of these, but there's still a slight chance. There are all the odds real quick if you want to take a screen grab of that. 200 card uh, base set, uh, 100 horizontal, 100 base verticals. Uh, each box has four pack, uh, four, uh, four cards per pack and six packs per box. 24 cards in total. So let's go ahead and get these things open. See if we can get something good. I'm being kind of skeptical about these. Uh, unfortunately, I don't collect a lot of Prism anything. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and give at least a few packs of these to try. See if it's worth the time or not. Otherwise, you know, I may just end up laying out on these set entirely and just going with uh, picking up singles I want to get. First off, we've got AJ Styles. Brutus Creed from the Diamond Mine. Sasha Banks. That's actually a really nice looking Sasha Banks card. I do like that. The only downside to the prism I found with this set uh, from all the pack openings I've seen is that all of them do have just kind of the standard design, which I know is normal for prism. Um, but for me, I mean, I don't know. After a while, a lot of the cards just seem to start looking the same just because of the overall border design. At least with like uh, the last Top's Finest set. They have a lot of like color splash and different variations of the color on the card, which could make them stand out a little bit. But all in all, still not a pretty nice card. Not too shabby. That's just Lost Your Banks. And then in the next level, Rey Mysterio. From a subset. And this is going to be number five. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set those off to the side. Pack number two. And most people I've seen opening these, I think they usually get two or three of the subset cards, which can be anything between next level, um, there's a subset called Gold, uh, there's also another subset called Fearless, um, so I believe you get two to three um, on average of the subset cards per blaster, um, and then you have a chance of getting a Green Pulser, at least I've only seen people pull about one per box if they do get one. Joseph Connors, there we go, that's a good one. Or base card, that's still a solid pull. Gable Stevenson. Hopefully he does better than Harlan did, considering he just got released and he was a big prospect at one point. Santos Escobar and Oscar Gold. That's definitely going to be one going into the PC. So very cool. Let me go ahead and sleeve up Gable Stevenson and Oscar real quick. I don't really plan to keep the Rey Mysterio for the PC, but I'll end up sleeving him up later. I do want to get these two sleeved up kind of immediately just to get those done and out of the way. I do love me some Asuka. Glad she's back. Hopefully they'll actually do something with her this time around and not just uh, job her out. So there's that. So I'll go ahead and pop those up there across the back. Pack number three. I believe it's three. Maybe four. I think it is three though. Well, I think we got ourselves another subset insert. We'll get to it. Great Kali. Ivy Nile, also from the Diamond Mine. Speaking of Diamond Mine, uh, they 
released um, the manager as part of the list of releases yesterday too. So that's unfortunate. So, but hopefully he'll be able to pick himself back up. Malcolm Bivens, um, Joaquin Wild, and there we go. Fearless Kofi Kingston, another subset. I do like that he's got the Green Ranger getup on. That's pretty dang cool, man. Pretty dang cool, man. All right, three packs left. So these are some pretty nice cards. Like the quality on is good. The card stock feels nice. Um, but yeah, just I don't know. The price point obviously for Prism is a little higher. Hey, there we go. Alexa Bliss base um, is a little higher than Tops. Typically, most Top Blasters are twenty. These are about thirty to thirty-five. So it does make it a little bit of a higher entry point if you want to get into them. So like I said, I don't know. May depending on how these go, may get one or two more, but not gonna go uh, crazy on these. Bright Heart, love that card and speaking of releases there's another person dexter loomis silver prism um also one of the releases from yesterday as well that one seems to be kind of off center though a lot uh, wider on the right than on the left side Alright, Shane O'Mac, Tamina, nobody Mina, Solo Sokoa, that might end up being a good one, he's pretty awesome, and Prismatic Entrances, Becky Lynch, that's actually a really nice looking card. I was going to say, that's another one, is the Prismatic Entrances, uh, there's actually an Austin in this set, uh, that's really, really nice, and the Edge is actually really cool too, so I like that. Very, very nice subset card. Now, I'm not sure how many are in each subset. I've never really bothered to check the checklist on those. Okay, I'm not overly invested in these cards, so I'm just kind of trying them out, getting a feel, and see if it's anything I do want to continue with. Mark Andrews. Go, 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 Goldberg. Me, 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 me. Cesaro. And we got ourselves a green pulser, and it is Damian Priest. Okay, that's not terrible. I like Damian Priest. That's, that's an all right one. So we've got our first green pulser, and that's going to be out of our first box. And go ahead and slide some of these over real quick. So not terrible on the first box. We've got a Gable Stevenson base and the Damien Priest uh, green pulser. No Braun Breaker though. I'm a little disappointed in that. Was hoping to at least get one Braun Breaker. Um, base or, you know, something out of these. I do have one on the way in the mail, but I have yet to get it, unfortunately. It's coming from Australia, so it's going to take a little while for that one to get here. <clears throat> All right. Box number two. Let's go. See if we can get lucky and hit an auto. Would be pretty dang cool, man. All right. Dave Mastiff. Boa. Titus O'Neil. And a next level Rey Mysterio, and this is actually the Prism version. Uh, just kind of show you guys so you can see the difference if you're not familiar with the Prism product at all. So here is the regular one. You know, it's for it's it's Chrome, um, but this flat. This one has got the rainbow text to it, and it's a uh, green, not numbered though. So I guess that's going to count as our green pulser out of this box. This is going to be this Rey Mysterio. So there we go. Green Mysterio, <clears throat> excuse me, Green Ray Mysterio Pulsar, next level subset card. So we did at least get a Green Pulsar in each box. I'll go ahead and just put him right there. So can't be mad at it, you know. And I, I don't think I've seen too many boxes open where there wasn't at least one green in the box. Um... So I don't know if they're actually one per box or not. I, they might be. I don't know. I haven't watched a ton of openings on the Blasters. I've seen more cello packs than Blaster openings. Joe Coffee, Randy, Walter, I mean Gunther, and uh, Fearless Alexa Bliss. Which, fortunately, that will end up saving Good Brother Hall on even having to mess with Prism since I know that... Really, outside of Bliss, there's not a whole lot of chasing here. Maybe some uh, Rhea Ripley stuff, uh, which, I mean, I guess me and him both are, would be trying to get that because Rhea is definitely in my PC, so that's a big help. All right, after, this is um, pack number three, Carmella. 
Trish Stratus. Drew McIntyre. And, hey, there you go. Speak of the devil. Gold Alexa Bliss. And it looks like regular Alexa Bliss. My favorite kind of Alexa Bliss. I'm not really too high on the crazy, fiend, infected Alexa Bliss. I know a lot of people are. Preferably not your boy's cup of tea. So I got I to gotta lay out on that one. A kid. Apollo Cruz. Big Sexy Kevin Nash. And Titus Worldwide. Titus O'Neil Prism Silver. And it looks like, unless we have some kind of magic happening these last two packs, that the Rey Mysterio is going to be the hit in this box. Almost. Reggie. I only had... Oh, come on, guys. What the hell? Well, uh, that had three cards in it, so that's cool. Thanks, Prism. Appreciate that. Reggie and Drew McIntyre next level. God, that's frustrating. I kind of expected better quality control out of Panini than that, but I guess I'm crazy. And it looks like maybe our luck is going to be changed in this one, so we did get at least get another green out of the box. Dolph Ziggler. Raul Mendoza. There we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And a Trish Stratus green. Not too shabby. So we did get ourselves two greens in one box. So that's pretty dang cool, man. All right. So our main hits out of the box, two boxes rather, is the Trish Stratus green pulser, the Damian Priest green pulser, and the next level Rey Mysterio green pulser. And then we also got the two Alexa Bliss base, uh, subset cards, the gold and the fearless, the Asuka gold, the prismatic entrances Becky Lynch, and the Gable Stevenson uh, base card, which even for a base card, it's still a, a pretty solid have um, to get, especially just even just to get it graded uh, since he's a pretty hot prospect right now. But guys, this is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for checking it out. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Collecting Raj. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and uh, check it out. I may come up with some more Panini Prism openings for WWE. Uh, we'll just kind of see what the future holds for it. But thank you for checking it out. And as always, have yourselves an awesome week.